Hey guys, Brex here, and we're playing some Universe Sandbox 2, because apparently I have to according to, uh, what is this username? LOL Arch, or LRL, L Arch. Damn, that's a, that's a tongue twister. He says, oh, Braxis, where is Universe Sandbox, or where is Universe Sandbox? As a YouTuber, you just have to be controlled on what you upload and what your subs want, not what you want. Now I'm gonna unsub because you're an ignorant fool like myself, or because an ignorant fool like myself, only subscribe for Universe Sandbox. I'm sorry. Please stay. I'm desperate for the subs. No. But, uh, yeah, I died. I took that comment lightly. Um, anyways. <laughs> I have a suggestion here from Lightning-15. Likes ponies, exclamation point. Okay, that's one. That's that. That's username. Um, and here she asks, What if all the rocky planets and the dwarf planets collide. Now, I'm gonna kinda twist this suggestion a little bit because I did already do a video on all the rocky planets colliding. I'm kinda curious, what would happen if all the dwarf planets collided? Would they actually form an actual planet? Or something that would be technically classified as a planet? Of course, another classification is like, for example, Pluto over here is at the outskirts of the Kuiper Belt. And because it has like asteroids and stuff within its way, it's not actually a planet because it cannot clear its own little orbit since there's asteroids orbiting around, such as like this one right here, which is actually pr quite far from Pluto's orbit when you consider something such as Mercury and Venus. But nonetheless, would we get something kind of similar to, oh, I don't know, um, well, actually, what, what does Mercury compare to Pluto? Let's, let's see that. So here's Mercury, which I do believe is about the size of our moon. And let's put Pluto next to it. Okay, so it's considerably bigger than Pluto. So to classify this as a planet, let's just say it has to be bigger than Mercury, which, as I mentioned before, is, I believe, the, about the size of our moon. Let's uh, see if we can find the moon. There it is. Oh, it's actually a bit bigger than our moon. Okay. So Mercury's not as small as I thought, but it's still quite small. So let's find out. Let's go ahead and start a new system. And we're not going to add a sun here because we're not interested in warming it or terraforming it or anything like that. And let's drop Pluto right here. Now we want to go to our minor objects, which are basically all of these. Let's see if we can make Pluto a quote unquote planet, which it is still a planet because it's Pluto. Pluto's always been a planet and should never have been demoted. This lovely Pluto, and it has a nice little heart on it somewhere around here. Let me see if I can show that. Oh yes, there it is. See, Pluto has a nice little heart. Of course, it's sideways right now, but yeah. Pluto is a planet. So let's go ahead and drop in Ceres, which is probably the biggest contender for turning this into a world. So let's go ahead and just drop it right here as a still object. And there we go. Pluto has gotten a little bit bigger. Now let's drop Pallas. Sedna, which also is kind of a bigger world and might actually increase its mass by quite a bit. I saw it grow a little bit there. Oh. Okay. I'm surprised these aren't actually, like, turning Pluto completely molten, but then again, it's like one hour per second. Actually, no, I'm actually shocked that Pluto's not molten yet. Very interesting. Of course, with, with a collision like that, it certainly would be. Okay, uh, Shoemaker, which is just an asteroid, but there it goes anyways. Okay, so we have something near Pluto size right here. This might actually be one of the, yeah, I believe it's one of the other, like, the second biggest one. Yes. Hopefully this can be what basically makes a tipping point for turning Pluto into a quote-unquote planet. Which, as you can see, Pluto is actually a little bit bigger now, but it is ever so slightly smaller than Pluto. So, let's drop this in. This might actually push the world quite a bit. There we go. Now Pluto is starting to grow. Okay, so we have Makey Makey. Let's drop that in. Haumea. And then we just have a bunch of asteroids like Halley's Comet, Swift Tuttle. Apophis? Apophis? I think that's how that's pronounced. Apophis and 2014 RC. And that's all the available, like, uh, small objects in the game. Now let's see if it is bigger than Mercury. 
So let's go ahead and pause the game here. And let's add in Mercury. Where would that be? Ah, there it is. So it's not bigger than Mercury in diameter. But I do believe it's actually grown quite a bit from its original size. So let's compare it to its original size. So yeah, I think if Pluto was that big, I think we would be able to possibly classify it as a planet. But who's to say whether or not it would actually clear its own little section in the Kuiper Belt, even though no asteroids really orbit within like a kind of logical distance. Like the, uh, I believe the distance between like Mercury and Venus is about the distance between like Pluto and any nearby asteroids, so I think Pluto should technically be a planet, but this is a result if we collided all the dwarf objects that are available in the game into each other. Now, let's go ahead and do what you actually originally suggested. Let's go ahead and put Venus right here, Earth over here, Mars, eh, right here. Here's all of our rocky worlds. Well, I mean, if you don't include Vesta and Ceres, but I already dropped those into that Pluto. So we have two Plutos here. And let's go ahead and collide these together. Let's slow down time a little bit. There they go. Everything's actually falling into Venus. And here they go. Absolutely beautiful. I think the new destruction effects are just absolutely amazing in this game. And I like how it actually started playing a different song as they all collided. That was a nice touch. So, there you go. I hope that answers your question. Anyways, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe. It really does help. And I will see you guys in the next one.